Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of Empowerment with Elizabeth. Today, I'm here with my sweet new friend, Evans, and she is going to talk to us about being a state title holder and her prep for Miss Volunteer America. So, Evans, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, everybody. I'm Evans Rett. I'm Miss Mississippi Volunteer. I'm from a small town in Columbus, Mississippi, which I just love and I always love to go back to. But um, I actually go to the University of Alabama, which is I always get shunned for that when it, when I come, say that I'm a Mississippi girl. But um, I'm going into my senior year, so I'm really excited for that. But I also just signed with Wilhelmina Models in New York. So I have so many fun adventures coming up ahead. And I'm also the spokesperson for the Mississippi Highway Patrol. So I have many jobs right now, which I love. Many hats, many hats. So talk to us about specifically the many crown hats. hat that you wear. Um, you know, how did you get started in pageants and how did it get you to where you are now? So I really had never heard of any pageant pageantry or pageants at all until I was about 14 or 15. Mm-hmm. And my music teacher, I was in um, high school and my music teacher was like, you should so do a pageant. And I didn't know anything about pageantry. So I was kind of like, I don't know if that's my thing. And I finally tried one after she had tried to convince me for like two years to do it. And I finally did it. And so after that, I just got the pageant bug. You know, once it bites you, you're just taken in. So that was really my introduction to pageantry. And she showed me how how many other sides there are to it and how many different categories of pageantry there there are. So, um, yeah, she really she really changed my life, I would say. That's so sweet. I love that. And you mentioned, you know, singing is obviously your talent. So talk to us about your talent. You know, how do you go about choosing a piece to perform at state and then now nationals? So at state, it was such a funny story. Um, At state, I had changed my song about two weeks before I competed. So I had practiced it, not a little lot. I changed the whole thing. I had to learn a whole new piece. But I'm so glad I did because one thing that I do when I'm picking out a song or selecting my song is I just have to feel it. I have to feel it in order to perform it to the best of my ability. So I think once I go through I mean I don't even know how many songs we went through it was probably like over a hundred but once I found like the I narrowed it down to the five I would just sing them over and over again and once I felt it I just felt it and then I just remember I was sitting on the stage I was singing the song that I had originally picked and I was this this is not it it's not it and so I changed it but um for the upcoming nationals we it took us a while to decide, but we had like four options that we thought about. And I don't want to give away my song, but it's really special to me. And when I was growing up, my grandfather, he's a big music guru. So we would always go into our downstairs living room and just listen to this one song, this one artist. So to be able to sing that at nationals is going to be very emotional for me, but also just the sweetest the sweetest feeling when I'm singing it and he's going to be in the crowd too. So that'll be good. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love that. And you know, another part of your competition, obviously it's not technically a phase, but it's a huge part of your year is your serve initiative. So tell us about your serve initiative, what you've been doing with it, what your future plans are for it. Yeah. So I am the spokesperson for the Mississippi Highway Patrol and they have a drive campaign and our pageant, the Mississippi organization, um, they created this partnership about three years ago with the Mississippi Highway Patrol. And so every single title holder, Miss Mississippi volunteer title holder has been the spokesperson during their reign. And it has seriously been the most impactful, impactful serve initiative, impactful life lesson. I, I don't even know what to call it because it's not really, a, it, it is a job, but it feels so much more to me than that. Um, And so it's really great to be able to go in there and just share safe driving tips. And there's this thing called the four fatalities. And that's one thing that I really press when I'm doing those presentations at those schools. Um, Sorry, let me backtrack. I'm talking to you like you know what I'm talking about. Um, (laughs) But I... I go around our state and I talk to high schools about safe driving and I give them tips. And during my presentation, I talk about the fatal four. But after going into 
these schools and seeing the impact it has on the kids, it really has completely like changed my life and changed my driving skills as well, because I was not, was not near perfect when I started this, but, um, I've had some really strong stories. I've had some people reach out to me and tell me stories that they've had and how um, me coming to their school has impacted them. Mm -hmm. And so to be given that job through the Miss Mississippi Volunteer Organization and just see the impact that it's had on me this far has just been tremendous. And I think that's one thing that the next title holder should look forward to more than anything throughout her year is doing the drive campaign and presenting at those schools. Cause it's just, it's, it's something that I want everyone to experience, but not everyone's going to. So <laughs> I right. love it. I love it. And this one, this question is a little bit tricky. So you can think about it for a second if you need to, but I'm interested <laughs> to hear why you think the judges selected you to represent the state. During my state pageant, during my state pageant, I went in there with the mindset I had done pageants before. Mm -hmm. I was um, I competed in team three times in different organizations, um, but I think that when I took a year off after I aged out of team, I really just was wondering why I kept getting runner ups and why I was not winning. And once I just put all that to the side and put like the winning aside, and was just like. I'm doing what I love. I'm going on the stage and I'm getting to compete in talent and walking around in my beautiful dress, which is another thing that I can't wait to talk about. But um, I think the difference with the state pageant and what the judges saw in me is I was genuinely myself throughout that whole pageant. So when I hit the stage, I was not competing. I was just being Evans mm -hmm. and I was trying to be Evans to my best ability. So I, there was that competition but I was genuinely in myself, and I think that that's what they saw in me, and now I have the crown. And so just being my genuine self, I think, is actually what got me through that week. Yeah, I love that. I love that. And, you know, up next is nationals, obviously. So what are you doing for prep? What are you focusing on? My prep has been crazy. It's amazing. It's been awesome. I've flown to Kansas City um, to sing with Bill Wolf and my director has really my director and my whole team they have really just shown me the ultimate support and have gotten me with the best of the best and the people that I've worked with I've learned life lessons for them I've even though we're we're trying to learn skills and they're trying to teach me um, we're prepping for this competition I've learned so much more through meeting those people, through being around them. And so it honestly has been such a growth journey personally to me. So it's been great getting to prep for this national competition. I wish I could do it again next year, but I can't. I love it. I love it. And, you know, this this question is a little bit selfish for me because, you know, I'm a pageant girl too. And so selfishly, mm -hmm. this is my favorite question, but I'm interested to hear what your favorite phase of competition is and then tell us a little bit about why. It's so hard because I do, I'm so passionate about like modeling clothes. And so I really do love the evening gown portion of it, but talent is just so good too. But I'll have to say with all that being said, I love pretty much every portion. I love fitness too. Um, I think I would have to say I like the interview part the most. And if you would have asked me that, at before state, I would have never said interview. <laughs> I would have never said interview. But since I've had this year and since I've been prepping, interview is really one of my favorite parts of competition because it's something that I've had to work for. It hasn't been the easiest part or something that we don't have to work on a lot, which um, is what I like because you never know what someone's going to ask you. But I think once you get past that mindset of trying to come up with an answer that they want to hear and you just be yourself it's so much easier and I've seen my interview skills just shift mm -hmm. through um through teaching that so I would say I'm really excited for interview I'm really I'm really excited for just the conversation not much not an interview it's just a conversation <laughs> there you go there you go that's a good way to look at it <laughs> um so you know you're coming to the end of your year because Mississippi crowns early for volunteers so I'm interested to hear what your favorite appearance has been so far as Miss Mississippi Volunteer. Oh my gosh. 
There has been so many. There's been so many. Someone asked me that the other day and I had to like go back and look at all my Instagram pictures just to like refresh my memory because you never forget those appearances. But when someone asked me my favorite one, I'm like, goodness, there's so many. Um, One that was recent that I really enjoyed. I know that there was one at the beginning of the year that was a uh, breast cancer awareness fundraiser. The people that I met at that fundraiser were just so amazing and I got to hear their stories. And so that's, that's one that triggers my brain. Mm -hmm. Um, but one that was recent is we did like a Super Bowl. Um, it was like a soup kitchen thing for the Salvation Army. It was a fundraiser for the Salvation Army. And there was old NFL players there and, um, other title holders were there. And, um, I think the mayor was there. There were so many people there and it was so much fun. And people got to come in and try a bunch of different soups and we got to serve them and chat chat with them and hear their story. So that was, those are probably two of my favorite ones so far. Super special. I love it. I love it. And our final question, what is your favorite thing about Mississippi? Oh my gosh. My favorite thing about Mississippi, I would have to say the scenery. Mm -hmm. I've been going to, and I really started to take it for granted after I went to um, college because I just wasn't around my hometown anymore. And now that I've been traveling and going to like New York and places like that, I come back and I see all the greenery and all the fields. And I just really appreciate how beautiful it is. Um, I would say another thing is our, our community, Mm -hmm. especially in Columbus, Mississippi is just a great state, but my hometown and the towns around me, everyone's so close and everyone will just help everyone. So I think that I really do enjoy the community of our state and how, how kind everyone is to each other. So those are, those are just two things that I love about Mississippi. I love it. Uh, you're a Mississippi girl too. You understand. You yeah, understand. Yeah. Yeah. Ditto. Ditto. <laughs> we got that Southern hospitality in us. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, thank you so much, yeah. Evans, for coming on and chatting with us about, you know, your year, all the things you've been doing, and just know that we'll be cheering you on at nationals. Well, thank you so much. And congratulations to you. And I wish you the best in your competition as well. Thank Thank you you for having me. Of course, of course. And I will see the rest of you guys on our next episode. Bye, y'all.